Good morning, good morning, guys. Yes, it is. Look at that. Nice and sunshine out here today. Yeah, just going to be a beautiful day. Let's see if I can show you guys. It's uh, two minutes before six o'clock. Yeah, and we are just about to get out of here. Yes, indeed. Uh, see, that's what I meant yesterday. The sun is up quite late and gets up quite early, you know. But yesterday it was just like tornado warnings all over this area and heavy rain and all that stuff. So uh, I was kind of glad I stopped over here. I could have gone on further, but I was kind of glad I stopped in here. I was tired yesterday. I, we had tornadoes at home there the night before and I woke up and I didn't sleep very well, so I was kind of tired yesterday, but let's get our day started. <laughs> since it's nice bright and early yeah look at that bright sun this morning just an absolutely gorgeous day isn't it guys no wind whatsoever yeah I love mornings like this you know nice and quiet nobody is on the road right now peaceful out here you know that's the way I like it yes indeed we have about 88 more miles to go till we will be on I-94 and we do have a fairly light load this time so we can get up to speed and get over hills pretty easy Yes, indeed, that's for sure. So, our goal is for tonight to get up to Grand Rapids, uh, or Cedar Rapids, whatever it's called up there, by Kentwood area there. That's the goal for today, get up there and find us a parking spot down there. Be there ready to go deliver our load tomorrow morning. Yeah, we gotta deliver at uh, 6 in the morning. And that's Eastern time down there, so that means at 5 o'clock our time I gotta be there. So, so yeah, that's a bit of a strange time, but uh, if that's what they want, then that's what we'll give them, right? That's the plan anyways, but... Yeah, I think we'll go down to South Beloit today or something like that. We'll fuel the truck up over there. Probably take our half an hour break over there too. Maybe go take a shower. And then make uh, make our way down to our delivery. That's the plan for right now anyway. So uh, I guess we'll uh, you guys will have to stay tuned and see what happens. But uh, yeah, how are you guys liking it so far that I've been updating my uh, website there with my map on where we're going to and stuff like that. I noticed uh, right away a few of you guys uh, commented on it. Seemed like you guys like that. So I thought so too. I thought it was a good idea and seemed like you guys like it. So I think we'll definitely uh, be doing that more often. We'll try and do that on a regular basis, I think. I think that seems like a good uh, good way to go about it. 
Yeah. All right, guys, we've been cruising along here for a good while. We're just about to come into uh, Madison, Wisconsin. Yeah, we already are on uh, I-94. Been cruising for a good while already, so... Yeah, it shouldn't be too much longer. We should be in... Uh, South Beloit, uh, Illinois. Yeah, now we'll take our half, half an hour break over there. Fuel up, make sure we have plenty enough fuel. Actually, I don't really need to fuel up. But I do need to take my half an hour break, but I'm not sure if I'm actually going to fuel up or not. But, uh, yeah. So we'll see, uh, see where our boats we're going to end up going. And maybe we'll make a pit stop sooner than that. You never know. I might actually pull in over here. That's kind of tempting, but... Yeah, well, we'll see. You know what? I think I might go ahead and pull in over here. Because I can take my half an hour break already and be okay. And I know a good place up here to have breakfast, uh, so I think that's what we're gonna do. I think we're gonna go pull her right in over here, and then we're gonna go have us some good breakfast. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. I never even thought about that. But me and my friend Barry went over here to that child truck stop over there, and. We had us some breakfast there a while back ago. Real good place to eat in there, so. Well, I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go pull it on over there and have us a good breakfast. I think that's what we're gonna do. In 700 feet, keep to the left yeah, on Yeah, we US also do have the uh, TA truck stop up there to the feet. right, but. Uh, I have been there a couple of times and I don't think I'll ever go there for a long time again. Go ahead and have a good experience in the restaurant. Nothing wrong with the truck stuff, but just that restaurant there, it just, I didn't have good experience there with the waitresses in there, so. So, we want to go over here to the shell up here. That's what we're gonna do. In 800 feet, take the entrance to the right on I know, RJ, you're mad at me because I'm going west. this way, but that's okay. As soon as we can, we will make our lean change. There we go. See that shell up there? That's where we're gonna go to. I like this little shell truck stop up here. Not a super big truck stop, but yeah, big enough to uh, go in here. And quarter mile, making you turn some if possible. Yeah, right. Make a U turn. <laughs> Anyways, we'll go find us a parking spot in there and then we'll. Uh, talk with you guys a little bit later. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now in Chicago. Yeah, matter of fact, we're just going around the O'Hare at the airport up here, and there's an airplane landing right now up there in the air, as you can probably tell, unless that camera wasn't able to pick it up, but uh, I'm pretty sure it was. But yeah, we are just up here now by the airport, and uh, GPS is always telling me to go right through uh, Chicago, but I always go down this 294 up here. And it looks like we're starting to get some heavy traffic up here. Well guys, it always seems like there is a little bit of a backup up, up here on uh, this first little stretch where we come on to that 294. Yeah, we're already on it here for a little bit, but it's still... Uh, giving us a fair amount of backup over there just looking at that uh, 
silver four-wheeler there that's just behind that other truck there he came he went on that exit ramp there to go to the rest area and then at the last second they decided to uh, just come right into this lane up here like okay yeah well you know what this guy is doing here beside me but he keeps uh, the passenger there keeps looking backwards and is on the phone there I don't know what he's calling out or what but I don't know if he's complaining about somebody else or what but it looks like we got a couple of flashing lights up there so it must be a fender bender or something up there looks like it's on the opposite lane there though that's what it looks like no actually it's in this lane here we do have a cop with a tool truck up there must have been a bit of a fender bender yeah that's what it looks like some kind of fender bender see no damage but this four-wheeler looks like he's got some damage he re-entered somebody that's for sure yeah I guess that's what the backup was all about a little bit of a fender bender as soon as we're out of there everything seems to clear up now we can put the hammer down <laughs> everybody slows down and wants to take a look at that fender bender I suppose but that's the way it goes that's the way it goes. Yes, indeed. But anyways, uh, this is Chicago for you. Yeah, it definitely is. You never know what to expect. One minute it could be a fender bender somewhere and come to a standstill in the hurry. You want to keep your eyes on the road up here, that's for sure. Guess what, ladies and gentlemen? We are just coming into, uh, I believe it's Cav Grand Rapids, Michigan. Yeah. We only got about seven more miles and we'll be at the truck stop that I would like to spend the night at. We're going to go down there and see if we can get us a parking spot in there. I know it's already uh, 10 minutes after 6. So, uh, it should get a parking spot in there, but... Oh, wow, that's a cool looking pickup truck. Look at that, guys. Look at the way they got the lights. It looks like you don't got no lights. <laughs> yeah, it look like they have them in the bumper up there, but... Yeah, that's an interesting looking pickup there, but... Anyways, as I was trying to say is, uh, we should be able to get us a parking spot in there, but, uh... Then again, you never know, right? kind of hard to judge uh, I've never really been at this truck stop before especially for the weekend so I'm not a hundred percent sure how it's going to turn out but we're about to find out that's all I can say we're about to find out and then I uh, called up the uh, customer to see if my appointment is really for tomorrow at 6 a.m. and they said yes it is they actually were open today. They said they open at 5 a.m. tomorrow morning. So I gotta go down there for 6 a.m. deliver my load. So that's gonna be an early morning tomorrow. But that's quite all right with me. I guess we will just have to do what we have to do, right? Yes, indeed. That's exactly what we're gonna have to do. But uh, yeah. I don't really like that too much because we don't have a reload yet because it's on a weekend the southern dispatch or eastern dispatch whatever one is doing this kind of stuff is not in on a Sunday so I haven't gotten no reload offer yet so all that's going to happen is because that's 5 a.m. my time central time that means uh, either 6 30 my time 7 o'clock I could be done unloading I'm just going to have to go back to the truck stop and sit there at least an hour, an hour and a half before the dispatch even comes in and they may not have even looked for any loads for me yet and then it's going to be like okay just pretty much start my logbook early in the morning and I'm not going anywhere you know but that's what it is being a truck driver so uh, so yeah Anyways, that's the way it's going to be. That's the way it's going to be. 
But uh, we'll go find out, see if we can get us a parking spot first, and then we'll worry about tomorrow, right? <laughs> yeah, well, it's the way it is as a truck driver. We are done for today. Yes, indeed, we are. Look at this, guys. We got all kinds of parking over here. There's one over there, and a uh, bunch of parking spots in the back available yet, and there was a few over there yet. So we are good to go. We found us a good parking spot over here. Yes, indeed we did. And look at that, guys. We still have our flowers with us that the wife given us. Yes, indeed. I just watered them earlier. And uh, yeah, we're taking good care of them. Yes, indeed we are. But we are done for today. And it looks like... Uh, we might be getting some rain. It looks kind of bluish over there. Yes, indeed it does. But we are done for today. I'm just uh, finishing editing. Well, I just finished editing yesterday's video. I was going to do that yesterday. And then we had that bad storm there yesterday. And I didn't have no good internet there. It wouldn't even let me. I didn't even have strong enough internet to download the uh, Google map. So I wasn't able to actually uh, finish my video yesterday, so I'm just doing it now. Well, I just finished doing it now, so... Uh, but yeah, we are done, so I think I'm going to hang her up, and uh, as soon as that one is done, I'm going to edit up this one and uh, get it ready for you guys. So I uh, appreciate you guys watching, guys. Give me a big fat thumbs up if you liked the video, and if you didn't like it, then give me a thumbs down. Oh, well. And if you really liked it, share my video, guys. That's really important. That's the only way my channel will grow. With your help. And if you did, thank you very much. I appreciate it. I really do. Because that means a lot to me. So with that being said, have a good one. And we will catch you right here on Trucker Rudy tomorrow morning. Have a good one. It's time to get going. It's time to move this behind me that day is gonna come